So we go down to the Auckland Islands to study southern right whales. At this time of year they come inshore um, to their carving habitat and the Auckland Islands is um, the primary carving grounds. And we're studying the recovery of the population. Uh, they were heavily impacted by whaling, they were almost wiped out from New Zealand altogether. A little remnant population hung on in the subantarctics and they've been recovering uh, since commercial whaling finished. So we can track individuals through time and so by, by photographing individuals and um, photographing them and recognising them again year after year um, we can study lots of things about the population like population size, survival rate, how frequently they come back and have their calves um, and this enables us to, um, to chart the recovery of that population. So the other tool we've been using within the last three years um, is aerial photogrammetry. So with the development of drone technology, we're able to get really, really good uh, aerial images looking um, straight down from above the whales. We can calibrate those images and we can measure the whales really precisely. So we can measure their body length and also we can measure their body condition, essentially how fat they are. And we're looking to see um, how healthy they are, how healthy this recovering population is. These animals also feed on uh, zooplankton, copepods and other krill, which themselves feed on phytoplankton, which is essentially the powerhouses of the ocean. So there's a really small linked chain between the whales and primary productivity. So by tracking changes in body condition through time, we can get an idea of what's happening through time in the Southern Ocean's productivity. So the white calves we saw this year are a normal feature in right whale populations. Um, however, it's still relatively uncommon. It only occurs in about three and a half to four percent of populations. And it's due to the expression of a recessive uh, gene and seems to uh, only occur in males. Now they don't stay white um, throughout their lives. As they grow older, these individuals will actually get darker. They'll never reach the complete black coloration patterns of the rest of the population, um, but they do reach a mottled kind of grey coloration, which is really useful for us. It, rem it means they remain strikingly obvious uh, through to adulthood and allows us to identify them really easily.